Hey, well, welcome to the channel. It's Thursday, uh, the 26th, and I'm out here in front of Hangdong Market, and I thought I would walk around a little bit and talk to y'all a little bit. But uh, beautiful day, uh, the air's nice and clear, and off we go. And this guy, these guys are over here fixing the sign. <laughs> Nobody pays any attention to that anyway. <laughs> Take care. We'll walk down this way, walk through the market. There's my trusty way to get across the street. I actually saw somebody doing that the other day. We'll walk back through the center of the market and walk down. This lady's been here for a long time. Mm. And over here, you can get your lottery tickets. Mm. Not as many people as usually. Well, it's kind of late in the day. So there may not be as many people here. Walk over this way. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of empty today. Ah, drink sellers. And this lady over here has been, hello, been buying drinks from her for years. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet people. Usually they're cooking in here. <laughs> They've moved things around a little bit. I used to eat right here. I have not ate here in a long time. It's been a long time since I've been back since we're here. Hmm. You can get just about anything you want here. Hello. kinds of vegetables. And, well, that's new, that's a hair salon that's just gone in. Hmm. We'll walk out the, uh, the back side of the market. And I'll take you down some of the side streets. Get over on this side. Everybody busy. These ladies have been here for years selling tickets. No. Lottery tickets. But anyway, 
I'm going to walk to the back and then hit a street out there that I want to show you all. I think we'll start right about here and walk back in towards the uh, area where the people are living back here. Oops, big truck. Now those were the apartments that I showed in one of the videos that I did. But we'll walk through this area here. Kind of an update on, oh, the doggies. Update on my situation. Um, we got the results of the PET scan back and uh, unfortunately it wasn't the best news in the world. Uh, seems the cancer has spread to one of my lymph nodes and uh, not far from where the uh, original tumor was found in the bladder. So the uh, consensus is now, wow, I think we'll walk down this way. I was given two choices. Uh, I could have six weeks of radiation and then three years of hormone pills. And uh, no surgery. And the likelihood of the cancer coming back is probably pretty good. So the the doctor, you know, he's he good he's a good doctor. He really he knows his stuff. But he's kind of reluctant to do anything radical. And uh, you know, I asked him, I said, what is the best scenario for me to have this this cancer not to come back and uh, he basically uh, told me he'd have to remove my bladder uh, my prostate uh, some lymph noids and um, I'm trying to think of what else it was something else he, he was going to take out but anyway, it would, it would, <laughs> crazy dog, hey doggy, it would leave me uh, with no bladder. And to me, I, I like the, the, uh, the idea of living a long time. So basically I, uh, that's what I told him to do. And what I will have to do, I've got an appointment with a, uh, hey buddy, with an oncologist on the 29th. And uh, I'll have to, to go through chemo and, hey little buddy, you're not gonna bite me. I'll have to go through probably about uh, eight weeks of chemo. And then, uh, hello. Then they'll, uh, figure out when they can do surgery on me. Now the bad thing is, is my insurance doesn't cover outpatient and uh, all the, uh, the chemotherapy is gonna be outpatient as far as I can tell. So I'm on the hook for it and uh, I'll just do the best I can until a guy wants to follow me. But that's it in a nutshell. You know, the, the thing about uh, cancer is I don't you know I'm not hurting or anything physically I mean right now I'm... hey buddy a lot of little dogs in here I'm physically you know not hurting but mentally it messes with your head and uh, you know, it just, uh, it just does. And there's no way I can describe it. Uh, the anxiety and just the feelings and, and I, I've, 
watched a bunch of videos and and basically the people in this in the same situation that I am they all have the same feelings so I'm not thinking that uh, you know I'm any different from any anybody else and uh, it's not unusual to have the anxiety and the feelings that you're that you're having yeah somewhere around yeah my lady that cooks my food is up here on the right hand side I think She cooks it and she delivers it, delivers it to the house. I think it's right up here on the right. But that's it in a nutshell. Uh, I'm trying to keep a, uh, a cool head about myself and, you know, just trying to accept things as they are. Hey, how you doing? Nope, this is the wrong apartment. She lives in the next road over. That's a big old house over there. So we're just gonna wait and see. Um, see what happens. Yes, we'll walk back this way. Mm -hmm. Chinese are your uh, Chiang Mai sausage. That stuff's good. another apartment building. Now, I used to eat here when she used to cook here. It's her restaurant right there and then she closed down. Coconut guy, hey, how you doing? Make always stops there and gets her coconut. All kinds of birds in there. Hmm. Be hair so long. Mm -hmm. 
Well, there's your uh, tour for today. I'm going to head back to the motorcycle and go cool off a little bit, and we'll see y'all later. Bye.